the goal line, but efforts to bring the Raiders to Las Vegas definitely move the chains way up the field today, clearing the first and possibly biggest hurdle. The stadium committee has approved the deal for the $1.9 billion stadium. Now the ball is being passed to the governor. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan is live at UNLV with the next step in this process. Brian. Well, Steve, Trish Adelson's representative saying today, this afternoon, it's time to celebrate before they go back to work. But there's not much that can be done until Governor Brian Sandoval declares a special session. Sandoval sending out a statement shortly after the committee unanimously approved the deal, saying he's now working to review the entire report. If the governor calls a special session, the deal would have to earn the support of two thirds of the legislature. While they were cautious to say there's still work to do, both developers and committee members sounded confident the stadium will become a reality. We're on the verge of having an NFL franchise. UNLV is going to have a state-of-the-art stadium, maybe one of the best stadiums in the country. This is an exciting day for Las Vegas and all of Nevada. I mean, we're going to get an NFL franchise. They're going to be playing in the state-of-the-art NFL uh, stadium, and UNLV is going to be playing in that stadium, and I think it's a great day. Of course, the final hurdle would be the approval of the Raiders move by NFL owners. Abood seemed to think that wouldn't be a problem, and several of the most powerful NFL owners have voiced their, cons their support of Las Vegas as an NFL city. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Thank you, Brian. So what's in it for us? Developers promise the stadium will create 8,000 full-time jobs and hundreds of millions of dollars in economic impact. Critics, however, point to a study five years ago by Holy Cross University that showed the methodology, uh, used to, methodology rather, used to project economic numbers in many cases is flawed. Some argue the true measure of success should be in economic improvement, not impact. And the Oakland mayor is chiming in on this, saying in part, we recognize the power and strength of the Raiders brand and understand their desire to explore all possible options for the team's future. It's my job to remain fully focused on what I can do to responsibly keep the team where they belong. Now is the time for everyone in our region to pull together to show the NFL and the Raiders that their future is in Oakland.